and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Look what it says in chapter 11, verse 2, For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear, lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preaching an preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. He's saying, look, I'm jealous over you with a godly jealousy. There's another Jesus being preached. And you know what? In our church, there were people that were preaching another Jesus. And in fact, even if you ask them, they'll tell you it's another Jesus. That's what they say. They say, you that believe in the Trinity have another Jesus. And I say, amen. We do have another Jesus. We have the right Jesus. We have the Jesus that did not come in his own name. He came in the name of his Father, which is in heaven. We have the Jesus who didn't glorify himself. He didn't honor himself to be made a high priest. We, we have the Jesus that did always those things which please the Father. And the Bible says, I'm come, in my own, I'm come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not, he said to the unbelieving Jews. But if another come in his own name, him ye will receive. That's another Jesus that comes in his own name. You better have both, both the Father and the Son. That's not oneness, that's twoness. And the Holy Spirit makes three. Yeah. 